about what I think is the worst graphic novel of all time. It's Frank Miller's Holy Terror. Now, I'm a huge Frank Miller fan. I absolutely love Dark Knight Returns. It's my favorite Batman graphic novel. I got posters and shit of that shit. And I think that it perfectly captures the character, updates them, puts them in a modern setting. However, as of late, Frank Miller has went completely mental. The lad is just putting out shit constantly. All-Star Batman and Robin was hilarious, <laughs> but terrible. Dark Knight Strikes Again, hilarious, <laughs> absolutely terrible. And Holy Terror is just a complete example of how much the guy has messed up. They should call it Holy Terrible. They should call it Holy Error on Frank's part. In 2006, he announced that he'd be working on Batman Holy Terror, which was a book that was gonna kind of deal with Al-Qaeda. He famously said Superman punched Hitler, Captain America punched Hitler. It's what these characters do. And he's putting an updated spin on it with Batman. DC though, they've been around for eight years. Obviously they're not gonna publish something that's massively racist towards a religious group. So they knocked it on the head, but Frank Miller still went ahead with it and we ended up with Holy Terror. It still is a Batman story. I don't care what Frank Miller says. All the characters are exactly the same as a Batman story and it's just an excuse to sort of parody it. Which I can't really get annoyed at because some of my favourite books like Nemesis and Superior by Mark Millar are also sort of pastiches of famous characters. So when it's done well, it's done well. This isn't done well. It opens on the quote, if you meet the infidel, kill the infidel by Muhammad. I later found out this isn't even a quote and that Frank Miller just made it up like a And it's clear this book wants to give you an excuse to hate Muslims from the off. It instantly struck me as really left field and a shallow way to open the story. The best villains in anything are always written with depth and complexity and you can sort of see things from their side. In this, they have absolutely no depth to them. Miller doesn't try and kind of understand what drives someone to be a, a terrorist. He doesn't take any blame for what America have done to Middle Eastern countries. He just portrays them as mindless villains who will murder anyone. It has one of the worst openings I've ever seen. Like, the book's so bad it's even hard to like flick through it. So it just opens on... <laughs> stuff here and it's just people going hef huff huff i mean it goes on for a while where the only thing that anyone says is huff and it's miller at his laziest if this was the guy who knocked out year one and the dark knight returns within a really short time period and nowadays you can't even do dark knight part three in less than two years and it's been overseen by someone else I got really lazy and this is a prime example of it. So as the fixer chases Catwoman, she's not given a name, she's Catwoman, across the rooftop, we're then hit with this explosion and, and it's amidst one of the most awkward sex scenes I've ever seen in comics. And you just have pages like this where it's just faces and then it <laughs> turns into a double spread of just boxes and eventually these boxes get smaller and smaller and then nothing. I get what it's meant to mean, I get it's meant to symbolise all the people that have died and there's such a big number but it's just such a lazy way to do it. There's a great book that came out recently by DC called Love is Love which looks at the Florida shooting of a gay club and every page has a story on it, a start, middle and end on an entire page and it has more emotion than these pages do combined and it's it's just the height of laziness from the guy. You've got Commissioner Gordon, you also have tires of political figures, it's just pictures of them though. I always think that the best satire comes across from what they say and the fact that these characters don't say anything, it's very much style over substance. Look at it, you go, that's a good drawing of Barack Obama, but that's it. It's not satire in anything he says. Whenever you satire something, the look-alike aspect of it is the one thing that not necessary. It's more to do with what they say and how they act that really portrays them. The look-alike thing is just there for you to connect with who it is. When they don't actually say anything, it just has no depth to it. The characters say god damn every goddamn second because it's the only goddamn word Frank Miller knows 
that can depict any goddamn emotion. It has stuff in it like give my regards to those 72 virgins as they kill a terrorist. And I never thought that a book that you can read in 20 minutes would be so badly paced. Ends up with like a terrorist plot where you can't really tell what's going on. And there's these silhouettes with characters talking. I don't know how you meant to tell who is who to be honest. Just again, just laziness and it just becomes a mush and blur of colours and I just hated it. And it made me want to go on my own ISIS book burning campaign with some of my favourite Frank Miller fiction. It works really well as a coffee coaster which I think is a good point that I should bring up. But other than that there's not much here that warrants you picking it up. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish it on the people who orchestrated 9-11. Bin Laden probably read this book and just thought fuck it. The book is just bad from start to finish. It doesn't even fit on my bookshelf correctly. Like, look at that. It's it's poking out. Like, you can't, that's it. Like, it can't even work as a book. It doesn't even function as a book. I don't know where Frank Miller was switched out with this bizarro version of himself, but this is just an absolute disaster. Like, this is a bigger disaster any than any bombing that Al-Qaeda has ever. That's really, I shouldn't say that but it, it's really bad. One of the main positives to take from it though is it's so bad it'll probably never get another printing which means that it might be worth a bit of money in a couple of years. Massively racist, every Muslim in it's painted out to be a villain. Even the heroes are really one dimensional. Frank Miller only seems to be able to write Carrie Kelly so every female in every book is Carrie Kelly and Bruce Wayne when he's 50 and every character that he writes is exactly the same and I'm just I'm sick of the lad. I can't defend him anymore after this crap. So overall, I give it a 2 out of 10. What did you think of Batman Holy Terror? Comment below and let me know and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.